Wow, it seems that professional wrestling just can't catch a break in the past, what, 72 hours or so? 48 to 72 hours? I mean, it's one thing with the Jeff Hardy deal, but now with Vince McMahon, holy shit balls. Now I know, I know some people will say, oh, I'm not surprised Vince, you know, did this, or Vince is being investigated by this, and da 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 you know, because he's always been like that, you know, on and off camera, he's always been like that, and look, you have a right to your opinion, you have a right to your opinion, but there's more involved here, in fact, the other party involved is people power, John Laronitis, yeah, the late, the late, Road Warrior Animal's brother is involved in this. Yo, people power! And apparently, I was watching a little bit of uh, the uh, breaking video, the news that Sean Ross Sapp uh, put up on YouTube through Fightful Wrestling. And basically, a lot of the female talent, you know, just to get this out of the way, when they heard Laronitis was being put in charge of talent relations, they were, according to what he's saying, a lot of female talent did not like that. They felt uncomfortable around him. They didn't want him around. You know, it's like they didn't trust the guy. And apparently, if what this investigation that the WWE board is doing now into this entire um, ordeal is true or turns out to be true, and Laurinaitis has a strong connection to it, then yeah, a lot of the women that felt uncomfortable about Laurinaitis being put into this position will be justified. They will be justified and basically Laronidas may have to step down, if not will step down. The question is though, who would take his place? Who would take his place as talent relations? And that is a good question. That is a good question. And I'm assuming that if this does happen, if John Laronidas does step down, that the person that steps in, WWE board, the WWE board will make sure that, that person, you know, is a fair, just individual and maybe you know from a superstar perspective make sure the men and women are comfortable with that decision whoever it may be but yeah i just printed out like what is it a couple of pages a couple of pages basically of this report it's basically similar in tone but this is what i want to read this first one it's got key points here from cnbc this is from cnbc uh, this one right here it's got key points the three key points they point out are World Wrestling Entertainment Board is investigating a three million dollar hush money settlement that CEO Vince McMahon paid a former employee over an alleged affair the Wall Street Journal reported that's one key point the second key point a WWE spokesman told the newspaper that the company is cooperating with the board's investigation and that the relationship between McMahon and the woman was consensual. Number the third point, the third key point, the board's probe also revealed older agreements related to misconduct claims against McMahon and another and another WWE executive by women who used to work at the company. The report said, and of course that other executive was John is or was John Laurinaitis. Now this is what the CNBC report. You know, puts out, and I quote: "Will Wrestling Entertainment's board is investigating a three million dollar hush money settlement that Vince McMahon paid a woman over an alleged affair." The Wall Street Journal reported Wednesday, citing documents and people familiar with the matter. The agreement, which was struck in January, is intended to prevent the woman who had worked as a paralegal for the company from discussing her relationship with McMahon or making critical statements about the chief executive. This, that's also what was said by the journal, journal uh, Wall Street Journal. Continuing on, I quote, A WWE spokesman told the, told the newspaper that the company is cooperating with the board's investigation and that the relationship between McMahon and the woman was consensual. So, basically, you know, back in January, so basically what we're getting here is back in January, this former paralegal woman uh, obviously, I guess before January or something like that, maybe a year ago or so, we don't know the timetable or the time frame, had an affair with Vince. Had an affair with Vince. And because of the fact that she was being let go, um, he 
I, I'm assuming, you know, they paid her three million back in back in January because the only reason you would pay anybody hush money, you know, even as far back as the beginning of this year, is if they're threatening to open their mouth about something, like they're threatening to reveal the truth about you that you don't want nobody to know because you know it could ruin you in the long run. So, you know, to me, that's the vibe I'm getting here that, you know, she had an affair, they let her go, she probably felt upset about it, and it's like, okay, I'm going to let these people know, I'm going to let the world know what Vince McMahon is really like in this other buffoon of his. And Vince probably got wind of this, or his legal team got wind of this, and said, hey, this girl's going to, you know, is going to spill the beans on you, you need to do something. And that's probably what happened here. Like, hey, you know, we'll pay you this. Just keep your mouth shut. But we'll find out more as time goes on. Now, continuing on with the article from CNBC, and I quote, McMahon, 76, going to be 77 in August, is married to Linda McMahon, who served as CEO of WWE and as Small Business Administration Chief in the administration of former President Donald Trump, who is a WWE Hall of Famer. The report said the board's investigation, which started in April, also revealed non-disclosure uh, packs related to misconduct claims from other women who had worked at WWE. These agreements involved McMahon and WWE talent executive John Laurinaitis, who wrestled under the name Johnny Ace Ace, you know, also part of the Dynamic Dudes with Shane Douglas and WCW. WWE didn't immediately respond to a request from... Or, WWE didn't immediately respond to a request for comment from CNBC. Continuing on. The board retained Simpson uh, Thatcher and Bar Bar okay, the board retained uh, Simpson Thatcher and Barlett LLP, a New York-based law firm, uh, to conduct the investigation, a source told the journal. The firm didn't immediately respond to a request for comment from CNBC. McMahon's lawyer, Jerry McDevitt, who was part of the fi finale, uh, the third season finale of Dark Side of the Ring, uh, McMahon's lawyer, Jerry McDevitt, was not immediately available for comment. McDevitt told the journal that the former employee didn't make any harassment claims against McMahon. He also said that WWE didn't pay her any money. It, and, you know, and that's what the journal reports as well. The news comes as a, the news comes, at a pivotal time for the wrestling entertainment company. In May, executive Stephanie McMahon, the daughter of Vincent Linda McMahon, took a leave of absence from most of her responsibilities at the company. WWE, and this is from Stephanie McMahon herself. WWE is a lifelong legacy for me, and I look forward to returning to the company that I have. Or that I love after taking this time to focus on my family. That is, of course, what she tweeted on Twitter. And, of course, we know she wants to spend time with her daughters, but also be there for, for Hunter, for Paul, just in case anything happens. Uh, continuing on. And I quote, WWE has been, okay, WWE has also been the subject of speculation over a potential sale and its media rights. It has deals with Fox, USA Network, Hulu, NBC Universal's Peacock streaming service. The Hulu deal expires this year. So after this year, WWE will not be on Hulu anymore. Unless they renegotiate a deal. The company is publicly traded, but McMahon owns the majority of WWE's voting shares. He took over the company from his father, also named Vince McMahon, in 1982. Under the younger McMahon's oversight... The WWE, then known as World Wrestling Federation, became a global juggernaut. In the uh, became a global juggernaut. In the decades since, the company has spawned superstars such as Hulk Hogan, Bret the Hitman Hart, Drain the Rock Johnson, and Dave Bautista. This is far from, from okay. This is far from McMahon's first brush with controversy. In 1993, he was indicted on federal charges related to antibiotic steroids which he and several professional wrestlers and the WWF stable used. He was acquitted of the charges in 1994. McMahon and the company also came under fire in 1999 for continuing his show oh, after superstar Owen Hart, a brother of Brett Etz, fell to his death from an arena's rafters while staging a stunt. The company eventually agreed to pay the Hart family $18 million over the wrestler's death. 
And that was about it for the CNBC report, which was contributed by Candace Chow um, of CNBC. So yeah, this is uh, this doesn't look good for for Vince. This doesn't look good because the Wall Street Journal is a very respective journal newspaper. It doesn't just re report, you know, like what's going on with the Dow Jones and, and stocks and all that. But it's a well-respected newspaper that's been around for decades, if not centuries. Well, yeah, a little over a century, if not decades. So for them to come out and others to follow suit, like CNBC, like Fox News, like Bloomberg and all of them, this does not look good. But the question is, what is going to be the end result of this when it's all said and done? I'll get into that in a moment. But let me continue. This is from, I believe, uh, oh, this is from Wrestling Inc. This is from WrestlingInc.com. This one. This is from WrestlingInc.com. And it says, and I quote, Huge news coming out of WWE's corporate end. As the Wall Street Journal is reporting that the Board of, uh, that the board of World Wrestling Entertainment Incorporated is investigating a $3 million settlement paid to a former employee by WWE Chairman and CEO Vince McMahon with whom he allegedly had an affair. According to the journal's sources, the separation agreement is from January 2022 this year and bars the former paralegal from discussing her relationship with McMahon or disparaging him in any way. The WWE board has said that the WWE board has said the relationship between McMahon and the employee hired in 2019 was consensual. The WWE board began investigating McMahon in April and since uncovered more settlements. Continuing on, I quote, The investigation has reportedly uncovered previous non-disclosure agreements by former WWE employees which not only claimed misconduct by McMahon but also head of talent relations John Laurinaitis. There is no word on how many agreements were unearthed by the investigation, the total amount paid in non-disclosure agreements (NDA) has yet to be determined by the board, but a source noted it was in the millions. That's uh, that's not good. The investigation also discovered that McMahon used previous funds to pay the former female employees. The personal funds were not only used for complaints against McMahon as McMahon reportedly used personal funds to pay for the settlement involving Laronitis. According to McMahon's attorney, Jerry McDevitt, WWE did not pay any monies to the former employee, which lines up with the investigation's report that McMahon used personal funds. Well, the investigation is mainly focused on the settlements to the former employees, employees but would also broadly investigate WWE's human resources program as well as the company's culture as a whole. So yeah, Woo. this is uh, yeah, this is not good if you if you're um, if you do support Vince even to this day. Um, but yeah, uh, continuing on, I quote: The Wall Street Journal. Okay, the Wall Street Journal notes that the twelve-person board of directors still includes McMahon's daughter Stephanie, who recently stepped away from her duties as chief brand officer to, to take time with her family. The investigation is being led by board uh, member Man Jint Singh, a former Sony Entertainment, uh, a former Sony Home Entertainment executive. The news comes after WWE stock prices rose on Wednesday in the wake of the Federal Reserve announcing its highest interest rates since 94. So yeah, I'll provide a link. If not, probably try to put most of it on there so you guys can read it yourself but yeah this does not look good for Vince this does not look good uh, for Vince uh, for Laronitis or anything at all and the obvious question is what happens next once this investigation is over and they possibly unearth uh, more um, documents and um, settlements and payments and all that you know that were made you know what happened What's next? Well, a lot of people, uh, even Sean Ross Sapp, um, who, uh, like I said, posted his uh, video on it, uh, Fightful Wrestling's uh, YouTube page, um, 
And I'm sure, you know, just Alex is going to say a lot tonight uh, doing his live stream. And as well as JD. Oh, if you want someone that's going to have an unapologetic, unapologetic, if you want, excuse me there. If you want someone that's going to have an un, an unapologetic opinion on the whole situation, with all due respect to you, Alex, because I know you'll be the same way. But if you want a real unapologetic um, opinion on the situation, tune into JD's off the script review of Dynamite tonight because whew, that guy will let loose. He will. And if you don't believe me, ask his House of Glory uh, co-commentator, Jason Solomon, the Solomon, so who also is going to do a review tonight, who will also be talking about this tonight because whew, it doesn't look pretty. It does not look pretty. But anyway, the obvious question is, what happens next? What happens when you know the dust settles and all and all more revelations possibly get made? What happens? You know, when it's all said and done? What does WWE do to save their asses? Or at least Vince in this case and Leonidas. Well, unfortunately, I think um, I think Sean Ross Sapp said it best. There's always going to be a scapegoat. And Leonidas, unfortunately, is going to be the scapegoat here. So, Johnny, nice knowing you. You're out. And here's the thing, too. Once, you know, his name was added to this, I guarantee you, smiles went across the faces of Naomi and Sasha right now. They're probably like, yeah, that's what you get, you son of a bitch. That's what you get for not doing what we're asking you to do. That's what you get. Shame on you. I bet they got smiles from ears to ears. Ears and everything. And already I already I could tell, even though some have yet to say it say it on social media, but I can already tell by the wording in response to this. Some of them are probably thinking Sasha and Naomi will now come back. Then when the time Leonidas steps down, they will make the move to come back and be like, Good, now we can be free of that SOB. But again, I'm not saying anybody has said that yet, but just by reading some of the responses to this on Twitter and Facebook and all that, I won't I'm I'm not surprised that I get that vibe. That people feel that that's what Sasha Sasha and uh, Naomi are thinking right now that hey, once Leonidas steps down, we, we can get back there. We will see. Um but yeah, this this does not look good and Leonidas unfortunately is going to have to step down. He's going to probably be He's not only going to be stepped down, I think he's going to get released. He's going to get fired. Period. And I don't think he'll be able to stick his head into the wrestling business, sports entertainment business, uh, ever again until this thing calms down. And as far as Vince goes, you know, WWE might be a publicly traded company, but he owns most of the interest. He owns most of it. And he has voting power. Unfortunately, he has like the final say in the votes in voting, voting say or something. But, you know, he's the, he's the biggest question of them all. It's like, what is Vince going to do? Is he going to do what he did when he was being put on trial for the ster for, in 93 and 94 for the steroids trial? Is he going to have to step away and somebody's got to step in? You know, we don't know. We don't know. This is, uh, this is interesting because Vince, you know, here's the thing. Vince could... You know, logically, and I'm not saying he would, but I wouldn't put it past him. Logically, we'll look at this, hear about this, and be like, I know what to do. Pull out his bank account and say, uh, folks, how much? How much for you to drop the story? How much for you to drop the investigation? How much? How much? How much? I would not put it past him to do that so this whole thing gets dropped. I would not put it past him. I wouldn't put it past him to go to manage it, seeing the... The person that's leading the investigation is going like, Sing, come here, come here. You know what? I th you're doing such a great job, my friend. Uh, I've decided to hire you. And tell me just how much you want. How much you want for your promotional. F that is, you're getting an increase in your payment. How much do you want for your payment increase as well as to, as well as to you know, drop this investigation? <laughs> you know. I would not be surprised about that. I would not be surprised he pulls Manjit Singh and says, Hey, here's an increase in your hourly salary. How's that? That'll be enough to that'll be enough to show how great you are, and hopefully that'll also <laughs> get you to drop this investigation. <laughs> I would not be surprised. I would not be surprised. I wouldn't put it past Vince to do it. 
I wouldn't. If you don't want, because here's the thing, if you don't want to lose power, you don't want to have to potentially do what people are thinking you're going to have to do, and that's put WWE up for sale. If you want people to essentially say, you know, hey, everything's cool now. You want your board, you want this guy that's doing the investigating to say everything's cool. We didn't find nothing. I wouldn't put it past Vince to bring him aside, bring others that are part of the investigation aside and say, here you go. I would not be surprised. I would not be surprised. I wouldn't put it past him. But maybe that won't be the case this time. Maybe that won't be the case this time because, you know, if the WWE board is committed to doing a, fur, doing a full, thorough investigation on this, I don't think Vince is going to be able to get, you know, won't, I think honestly what I'm trying to say is Vince won't be able to write enough checks to save his butt from this. He won't. Because you can't tell me that, you know, the, the person that, you know, uh, got paid off for this, that's making this investigate, that's kind of bringing this to the, you know, uh, it's been, what I'm trying to say is you can't tell me that the person that got paid off in all this won't see what's going on. Or somebody in WWE that's part of this won't see what's going on and say, ah, uh -uh, he's not going to pull that crap. We got to keep going. We got to keep looking. You know, you know, I, again, I don't think Vince is going to be able to, you know, write enough checks to save his butt. Because even if he pays off Manjit Singh or the, and this person and that person that are part of it, there's going to be others that are going to continue the investigation. He's not going to be able to get out of this. You know, say, you know, he's not going to be able to do, you know, do any, he's not going to be able to save his butt. You know, even despite how many checks he tries to write to pay, to pay his way out to get this dropped. He won't. And again, I wouldn't put it past Vince to try something like that. Because this is serious. This is serious. And yeah. and he needs to finally wake up and realize this isn't the 1980s anymore. This is not the 1980s. This is 2022. This kind of stuff will not be tolerated anymore. It, can't, it won't be. And he needs to wake up and realize that. And if John Laronite is having to be let go, fired, stepping down, whatever, you know, putting in this notice saying, I'm done, I'm out of here. You know, it's one way of making that happen, so be it. If he has to step down and say, Nick Khan, I'm putting you in charge, and Nick Khan says, good. You know, the guy's gone, now I can make this into the wrestling company or the entertainment company I know it could be and used to be, and we're going to start focusing on that now. I think that might be the only solution. That would be the only solution. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. Nick Khan, if he's the one that steps in to replace Vince while Vince steps away, you you won't you can't tell me he's not gonna make some changes himself. He's gonna knowing Nick Khan, he'll take Bruce Pitcher to the side and say, Hey Bruce got a gift for you. Yeah, what is it? Pick slip! Bye! <laughs> I would not be surprised. It's like pick slip! Bye! <laughs> you know, I would not be surprised. He'll basically take some of the problems that people complain about in the company, superstars, you know, backstage agents, whatever, producers, it'll be like, can you take those problems? Bye. And then put some new people in there that know what they're doing, hopefully, or at least have an understanding of, okay, we got to do this to get people, to get the fans interest back on the product. Cause that would be his main priority. If he steps in, if he steps in, but honestly, this is, this is not good. This is not good, and, you know, it's like, you know, it's, it, it, because he's saying, it's one thing, it's one thing, ladies and gentlemen, to, you know, portray yourself as a man whore on television as part of a story, like we've seen Vince do for the past 20-something years. Okay, that's one thing. But it's another to do it, you know, in the offices of WWE? In Stanford, of all places? And then on top of that, to add uh, to add John Laurinaitis, the head of talent relations, to the equation as someone that's like, uh, you want some, uh, you, oh, you want a, a push, uh, so and so? I tell you what, I'll give you the opportunity, but you gotta, you gotta give it to me. You know what I'm saying? You know, to add him to the equation to with the miscon with that kind of misconduct. Not saying that's what he did, but I wouldn't put it past him. It's like. It's like, it's like, what? It's like, you know, 
It's like, okay. it's like, what are you gonna do? Huh? What else can you do? I mean, this, again, this is not good. This is not good. I mean, I mentioned earlier that a lot of women were uncomfortable with Laronitis being named head of talent relations. Now we know why. Now we know why. Because like I said, it's one thing to, for Vince to do it on television as part of the storyline, but to do it in real life? And then as I said, you add in John Laronitis being like, Hey, you want to push uh, Mickey James or you want to push Sasha Banks? I'll tell you what. You give me, you ride on Laronitis Mountain and I'll give you that push. It's like, seriously, are you that, because let, let, let me, let me ask, let me ask John Laronitis and Vince McMahon this. I'm sure they won't see this, but let me ask you guys this. Are you that sex depraved? Are you that depraved? Huh? Are you, are you that depraved from getting any action at home? Did you have to manipulate female employees, maybe female superstars to do that for you? No wonder people don't want to want to have you guys around. No wonder people want out of that company. Especially the female talent. No wonder they want out. This, this is this is batshit crazy, man. This is batshit crazy. And all I can say about this situation right off the bat is this. John Laronitis, I think he's done. He is done. Not just in WWE, he's done in wrestling. Period. He's done. He's going he's gonna to have to step down and be removed. He's out. He's done. Vince, he's another story. You know, you know, WWE may be a publicly traded company right now, but he still has control. And he has, you know, final say in some of the voting. So getting him to step down or step away is going to be a lot harder. You know, and I, I think honestly... You know, I feel bad for Stephanie. I do, because she just left to spend time with her family, to spend time with her husband who just had a cardiac arrest. That's not that long ago. And now she may have to step back in. Sooner than ra sooner rather than later. She may have to step back in. Because of what her father's done. Now, people are wondering, did she probably know? Oh, she probably heard stuff. You know, maybe the the board took her aside and said, hey, you know, we need to talk to you about this. And they showed her what they found out. You know, maybe that's, made, and maybe that's what made her, you know, decide, hey, I'm going to go home, spend time with my family. Because she knew what was coming. She knew what was coming. And, you know, I feel sorry for her. Because she's, despite how you feel about Stephanie McMahon, okay, and I love Stephanie McMahon. I'm a fan of Stephanie's. I've always have been. Even when she was a heel on television, I love Stephanie McMahon. Not because she shares the same name as my second oldest sister, but because I just, I just like the girl. I like the girl. She's cool. You know, and also the fact that she's married to one of my favorite wrestlers in Triple H. You know, that's another reason. But anyway. Anyway, I feel sorry for her. Because despite how you feel about her, she's earned this opportunity to be with her family. And now she may have to, you know, she may have to suspend that to come back and help, you know, piece the company back together after this. It's, it's just crazy. And you gotta wonder how Linda feels. Linda, Linda was in a high archy position somewhat under the Trump administration. Still has somewhat of a position in WWE and now she hears this. You can't tell me she's thinking to herself, you know, the same thing that I just mentioned, like, Hey, it's one thing for you to do that, Vince, on television as character, you know, as a part of your character, but in real life, behind my back? I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 just, I just feel sorry for both Stephanie and Linda in this. I really do. Because, again, like I said, Stephanie may have to interrupt her time with her family to come back and fix this. Linda may have to step back in and reclaim her role as CEO and fix this. It's... It's crazy. And you know what? People say the WWE could be up for sale. I will not be surprised. I will not be surprised if, if the McMahon family convinces Vince and the board convinces Vince, sell the damn company to Nick Khan, sell the damn company to NBC, sell it to somebody, sell it to Fox. Be done with it. You know, 
So that way they can get out of this. I would not be surprised. But this, this is nuts, man. This is nuts. And like I said, it seems wrestling, sports, entertainment can't get a break. Whether it's somebody that represents AEW being arrested and everything for intoxication and driving with a suspended license and so on, which the company did the right thing in suspending him for. If it's not that, then it's WWE's. T <laughs> then it's WWE's turn. You know, it's WWE's turn at the bat. If you know what I'm saying. It's like, oh, oh my god. Oh shit. Oh shit. All I can all I can say is this. I'm keeping Stephanie McMahon and Linda in my prayers because they do not need to go through this. Stephanie deserves to be deserves time with her family. Linda does not need to be dragged into this because of her husband's stupidity. You know, something has to be done. And I'm keeping those two in my prayers because I pray that they can convince Vince to step down. Go home. Put, hang them up. Go home. Hey. I, I, don't, I don't know. It's... <sighs> like, oh, my God. You know, I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you one thing. If you, if WWE didn't give you a reason to, well, mostly Vince McMahon, if he didn't give you a reason to switch sides to AEW, I think this just did it. I think this revelation, this breaking news, it just did it. It just convinced a lot. Vince McMahon's being investigated along along with Laronitis into what in, into this you know with this situation. If that wasn't enough to make you switch sides to all elite wrestling, you know I don't know what will. Because if you didn't do it before, you're gonna probably do it now. And that's a fact. Uh, but but let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this. Comment below. Live chat during the premiere. Super chats. Super stickers will be open doing. Uh, the live chat during the premiere as well as super thanks will be enabled afterwards give me your thoughts guys because this is crazy this is nuts i mean man, again what a seven what a past 48 to 72 hours for wrestling holy crap holy crap but again guys give me your thoughts give me your thoughts down below and in the comments what do you think what do you think is going to be the end result of this how do you feel about this you know how do you think stephanie and linda feel about it comment below because, holy moly, holy crap, this this is not good. And again, not to make it sound like this, but if you weren't converted to over to the AEW side because of the stupidity WWE or Vince McMahon does, you know, over there, I think this will do it. But let me know what your thoughts are, guys. And again, check out just Alex, you know, his review tonight, his live stream. He's going to have a lot to say on it. Check out Salamastis. He's going to have a lot to say in it. And definitely, my God, definitely check out JD's off the script review of Dynamite. Because he'll definitely be talking about this. And if you want a very unapologetic opinion, he will give it. So yeah, check those guys out. Because believe me, you think I have a lot to say? You think OTR Essential is going to have a lot to say? Good mic work? No DQ? Chandra Sab currently? Those guys will, those three that I just mentioned tonight will definitely have a lot to say.